As of late, Obsidian Entertainment has been pretty busy. They've had a lot of interesting stuff going on. Many of you guys, especially those of you watching on this particular channel, probably know of Obsidian for Fallout New Vegas, what many call the best entry in the Fallout franchise, a very well-loved game, and without a doubt, one of the most notable games to come out of this company. Since Fallout New Vegas, Obsidian hasn't really had a return to form with something quite like that. We know The Outer Worlds is coming out in just a little over a month on October 25th. For those of you interested in that game, I'm actually going to have a comprehensive look, kind of a what to expect from the Outer Worlds video coming in the next few days, and full coverage on that game in general if you do want to subscribe. But even outside of that, Obsidian was recently acquired by Microsoft, which is pretty big for the company. They've had financial difficulties in the past, and this acquisition could absolve them of that, allowing them to return to some of those large-scale AAA games that so many of us have been wanting from them. And it seems like, well, that's actually happening. As recently, it has been revealed that Obsidian Obsidian has a new RPG underway, something that seems like it's going to be what we want. So a lot of this was originally popularized by this Twitter post. I'll have a link to this down below, although it is slightly misleading, it's missing some details. But as of right now on LinkedIn, you could actually find 12 new job listings for Obsidian Entertainment at their Irvine branch. Their Irvine branch is actually their only branch, it's their headquarters. And these job listings are pretty across the board, things like a financial manager, some of the in-game stuff like a UI designer, but also some other interesting things, like a network designer. I'll have a link down below to some of these listings so you could check them out for yourself, but some of the things described within them are a world-class RPG. They don't explicitly say it's going to be a AAA game, but they also never say it won't be a AAA game. They really use that world-class moniker most of the time. They do request that the artist they are hiring has a solid understanding of current AAA quality art, though. I mention this because if you're not familiar, The Outer Worlds actually isn't a AAA game. It's a smaller scale AA game, so this could be following a similar route, but I don't think that's likely. We know it's going to be an Unreal Engine 4 based game, similar to The Outer Worlds. It's described as being cross-platform, so both on consoles as well as PC, and maybe even on Nintendo Switch, also like The Outer Worlds. First and third person combat is described. This gets pretty interesting. On this particular job listing, they actually are explicitly requesting somebody that does have knowledge of first person melee combat, but that might just be what this particular job listing's for, and they already have some people on some non-melee combat combat in-house and they aren't looking for new hires in that area, but later on it's also described how there's going to be some overseeing of first and third person combat animations. So perhaps this will be a both first and third person game, which is notable as The Outer Worlds is first person only. And we see some other things like a day-night cycle, combat and creature animations, but also one of the other interesting ones, multiplayer. Multiplayer is mentioned in several of these, and although there's not too many details on it, there is one hiring for a network engineer overall, who is tasked with developing and maintaining systems related to networking and multiplayer gameplay. So assuming all of these job listings, which were posted on the same day, are corresponding to the same game, it looks like it'll be a first-person RPG, maybe having some third-person aspects to it, although not as explicitly confirmed. That is world-class, whatever that means, probably AAA, I certainly think it's going to be a AAA game, and that should have a branching story and multiplayer. So this sounds really interesting, and the first question is, what could this be? Obviously, you, having read the title of this video might be like, well, why do you think this is The Outer Worlds 2? There's some easy connections you could draw. Obviously, it's being developed in the same engine that with Unreal Engine 4. Some of the features of this game are features that the developers of The Outer Worlds 1 have already described as wanting to add to the game with potential subsequent additions. With The Outer Worlds 1 not having third person, they basically describe budget restraints. And although all of that is good, what actually really sold me on this, or what kind of convinced me, was an interview from not that long ago with Matt Booty. If you're not familiar, Matt Booty is actually the head of Xbox Game Studios. He basically oversees some of the acquisitions of studios, like them actually buying Obsidian, and also the game development overall. In a recent interview with Game Informer, he had a lot of interesting stuff to say about Obsidian and the Outer Worlds specifically. In this, he reveals that there are projects underway at Obsidian that we'll learn about in the future that they've already started working on. So not really revealing too much, but it is pretty likely that whatever that project is could be in reference to what we're seeing here, some of these new job listings. Obsidian and Microsoft have this kind of weird dynamic in that Obsidian was already quite well underway with The Outer Worlds when Microsoft purchased them. So with The Outer Worlds itself, Microsoft is pretty hands-off. It's not going to suddenly become an exclusive, and from past interviews it was described that Microsoft isn't playing a huge role in the development of this game because it was kind of before them, it was already underway. But The Outer Worlds 2 would be different, hypothetically. In the same interview, we saw some questions around this, asking if there are any plans for an Outer Worlds 2 
and if it would be a big Microsoft exclusive. So only being on PC and Xbox One, kind of removing that PlayStation 4 aspect. To that, Matt Booty actually says, I think that'd be that kind of game, suggesting that it would be a Microsoft exclusive and saying, from what we've seen of the Outer Worlds, my hope is that that's something we can build and that it really becomes an enduring franchise. And it really starts to grow and we can help expand that. I've mentioned it in past videos, but I found it pretty interesting or almost curious that the Outer Worlds has so much talk about sequels or where they could go with the game in the future. This has been mentioned in numerous interviews from the developers, not just DLC, but actual subsequent games in this franchise, if it even becomes a franchise. In one interview, the developers actually described there are certain plans for what they would do if they were to make sequels, a rough outline per se. I think a lot of this stems from the fact that The Outer Worlds 1 is actually only a double A game. We often hear talk about what they could have done with additional budget or where they potentially would take subsequent games with bigger budgets, and then people start asking, well then what do you have planned for subsequent games? But either way, taking these new job listings, some of the things described in them along with this quote from Matt Booty from just about a month ago, that is all pretty interesting. To me at least, it does paint some kind of picture that there is a decent likelihood The Outer Worlds 2 is already in development. This would be really weird, especially from a business standpoint. The Outer Worlds 1 isn't even out yet. They don't know if it's going to be a massive hit, if it's going to do okay, or maybe even just be a flop. Obviously, they're not totally blind around this. They do see pre-order numbers as well as just forecasts as to how well this game will perform. Maybe that alone, based on the budget of the game, was enough to convince Microsoft to greenlight a sequel. And it is kind of crazy to suggest that The Outer Worlds 2 may be underway, but again, I just wanted to kind of lay all this out there, all this new information, as it kind of makes me think it might be. We do know that Microsoft has plans to release a new console in 2020, and having some more incentive in the way of first-party exclusives for people to actually purchase that new console could be their plan with the Outer Worlds 2, greenlighting it a little bit ahead of when they typically would because they wanted to get out sooner so more people start buying that console even sooner. But conversely, I'm still not totally sold. Even some of the information we have available to us makes me feel a little bit wary. There are things like a multiplayer mode, which I just don't really see how that fits in. There's a heavy focus on single player RPG with the first Outer Worlds. A multiplayer mode would be weird. Maybe it's not totally accurate from the job description. Maybe that's for a totally separate game or something, or maybe it's just a minor feature of this game. But at the same time, when you actually look back at some of those Matt Booty quotes talking so confidently about this franchise, and you see some of these new job listings, would it really be plausible or even likely for Obsidian to develop The Outer Worlds 1, then a different game, then The Outer Worlds 2 later on? That's what keeps getting me back to thinking that this could in fact be around The Outer Worlds 2, because otherwise that puts a potential sequel as pretty far out. And even though Obsidian operates with multiple teams, Thus far, they haven't operated with two full-on AAA game developments at the same time. Either way, taking it all together, those are my thoughts on that. One way or another, it looks like we're getting another first slash third person RPG from Obsidian, and that's something to be excited for either way. Maybe it is the Outer Worlds, maybe it's something totally separate, but either way, it should be pretty cool. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. As always, again, I thank you for watching. But with all that being said, I hope to see you all next time. Later.